Fullerton Balogun with a chance to bounce back after those two missed penalties against Nice. We talked about all the issues at Marseille with the ultras, which drove the coach out. Marcelino resigned. Uh, breaking news today, Gennaro Gattuso will be his replacement. He's accepted that job, so he's willing to deal with all that nonsense. But uh, Balogun in Monaco. Well, gonna get well I mean, look, if you're going to if you're going to yell and scream and threaten somebody, uh, Gattuso, you know, he doesn't suffer <laughs> fools. So maybe he has maybe he has the back, the backbone and the thick skin that is needed in that position. And I talked about the ridiculousness that is that uh, that situation. But to bring in somebody, like I said, that will give as good as he gets. Who knows? Maybe that's the uh, the solution. And Balogun. Yeah, I mean, look, <laughs> again, we have this this savior type of image right now, a Balogun. And and I think it's it's not unfair in that this position continues to be wide open. This continues to be a position of need for the US men's national team going forward. And, you know, yes, he missed two penalties. And again, this will be a test for him from a much more from a mental standpoint to be able to say, all right, that was not great. It's not something that you want to make a habit of. But as anybody from Eric Winalda to you know anybody else that it, uh, that it's out there that sco- scores goals to a living, they will tell you that you have to be able to forget. And the quicker that you for- that you can forget, the better off you're going to be. And when a, whether it's Balogun or anybody else, but from a U.S. perspective, I want him to forget and go out and do what he does uh, what he does so well and be able to prove that all of this praise and all of this attention and all of this excitement that we have for him remains justified going forward, uh, whether it's against Germany coming up here in the next month or obviously in the next three years leading up to 2026. You like that clip? Well, my State of the Union podcast drops every week. Subscribe now on Apple Podcasts, Spotify, or wherever you get your podcasts. You like that clip? Well, my State of the Union podcast drops twice a week right here on my very own YouTube page. The only way to stay up to date is to hit that subscribe button down below. Size the day and see you soon.